viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very tasty mutton fry. It's Kerala style mutton fry. I have all the ingredients here. I have about three tomatoes chopped. I have three onions uh, chopped, salt, I have garlic flakes, ginger juliennes, I have uh, coconut that has been thinly sliced, you need these pieces. I have some ginger garlic paste, some coriander powder, turmeric powder, fennel powder, some garam masala, whole spices, some chilli powder, two green chilies that have been slit, some curry leaves. Here I have about half cup of coconut oil and about half kilo of boneless mutton pieces. So you cut them, uh, not too big, uh, about you know half inch should be good. So first what we're going to do is marinate the, the mutton uh, in some of the spices here. You need to marinate for about an hour. So let me get started with that. So first you add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, add about a teaspoon of chilli powder, add a teaspoon of coriander powder, add a little bit of salt, add about one and a half to two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste and you need to add a whole lot of curry leaves just you know roughly tear them apart and just put them it'll so that all the flavors and the fragrance of the curry leaves is infused into the mutton pieces i love the smell and the fragrance of curry leaves especially for the south indian cooking and then we're going to add about three teaspoons of coconut oil so now feel free to use your hands and mix everything nicely you gotta rub all the spices into the meat and the best way to do it is with your hands. So here you can see I've mixed up all the ingredients into the meat and you're gonna leave this for about an hour to marinate. So the mutton has been, mar been marinating for almost an hour now and I'm gonna cook this separately in a pressure cooker. So I've added just a little bit of water you can see. I'm gonna just drop the mutton pieces into this. See, I haven't added too much of water here because uh, the, the, the meat itself will release a certain amount of water and uh, we need to get all the water we need to, the water has to be evaporated before you fry it. So I've just added a little bit, just enough for it to cook. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to saute the onions and the tomatoes. I have a big kadai like this, hot already. This is coconut oil I'm using to get the authentic Kerala flavour. So I'm going to add about, yeah, it's about two tablespoons of oil. So the oil is hot enough. I'm going to add all the whole spices first. Then I'm going to add the onions. So the onions, you can either use the chopped onions or the sliced ones. We'll add a few curry leaves to this. The more the better, to give you that complete flavour. So after adding the curry leaves, you add the sliced garlic and the juliennes of ginger. Oh, wow, you can already get the wonderful aroma of coconut oil and the curry leaves. It's irresistible. So now uh, you can see the onions are nice and brown. I'm going to add the tomatoes. So you can see the uh, mutton is cooked nicely. Now we need to reduce this water. There shouldn't be any water, so we need to leave it on for some time till all the water evaporates. So now you can see all the water has evaporated and uh, you can just see the masala is left. I'm going to transfer this into this kadai, the mutton pieces. Just Mix everything nicely, it smells wonderful. So to this, we're going to add some garam masala, a teaspoon of garam masala, and a teaspoon of fennel powder. I'm going to add half of this coconut, and I'm going to leave a little bit for garnishing later on. You can see how nice and thin the coconut is sliced. So you can keep this on high and mix it nicely. I'm going to add a little more salt, just a little more, not too much, just that's all, just a pinch to get it right. The perfect taste, smells wonderful, the aroma is awesome. So the 
Kerala mutton fry is ready. I'm going to transfer it into a nice serving dish. You can see it's beautifully cooked and it's nice and roasted, nice and red. So now I'm just going to garnish it with a few pieces of coconut, fresh coconut. And uh, to get the authentic taste of this Kerala mutton fry, it's very important that you use coconut oil. Otherwise, uh, it would be like any other regular mutton fry. So try this delicious Kerala mutton fry and enjoy it. Do send in your comments and feedback to home cooking at indiantracks.in and send us your unique and simple recipes to our show so we can also try them and show our viewers.